Good morning, beautiful soul. Welcome to day one of yoga with Ash, the 21 day yoga challenge to beat the winter blues. So today's practice, the vibe is slow, mindful, easy movements. Hello and welcome. So find yourself in a seated position, sitting up straight, breathing normally. Okay, now take a nice big deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring both arms up, stretch all the way up, grab onto your right wrist with your left hand and slowly fold over to your left side so you're feeling a stretch in the area of your ribs and the right side of your body. Breathe. On an exhale, slowly release the arms. Take a breath in between. And on your next exhale, lift both arms up. And this time we'll grab onto the left wrist and bend to the right side, breathing into the left side of your body. Keep the chest up. And on your next exhale, slowly bring the arms down and take a breath in between here. So now we're going to make our way to child's pose. So in child's pose, your knees are wide, the feet together, and the arms are extended out in front of you as you slowly bring your forehead down to the floor. You're always welcome to put some cushioning, a blanket, fold your yoga mat a few times beneath your knees to add some extra support. Once you find yourself in your child's pose, just breathing fully, slowly, and normally, letting yourself relax your spine, your hips. On your next exhale, slowly start to walk your hands back out towards your hips and slide the knees a little closer together and pull the ankles apart. So finding yourself in a tabletop position with the shoulders stacked over the wrists and the hips stacked over the knees. The feet can stay flat or you can flex the ankles and tuck your toes. So begin cat cow at your own pace. The vibe is slow. It's first thing in the morning. We want to wake up our spine really slowly and mindfully. So when you go into cat, tuck in the belly button almost like you're sucking in your stomach and tuck your chin in as well. You'll get a little bit more lift from your mid back. Remembering to breathe. And as you go into cow, it's belly button toward the floor. And the head comes back, but it doesn't need to come super far back. Just lift your head enough that you could um, look forward at the wall in front of you. No need to send the neck all the way back. And keep moving at your own pace. If you find a spot that feels really good or feels tight, just take a couple more breaths there and really focus on consciously relaxing as you breathe and send your breath to the area. And just a few more rounds, a few more breaths. And when you're ready, starting from a neutral position, we're going to do big circles with the hips. So I'm starting from what, just doing one direction at a time, going to the right. So if you can see in the video, I'm literally keeping my hands and my knees in the same spot and I'm just doing circles. You can do bigger circles or smaller circles. You can slow it down and really feel it. We're just waking up the hips. This is really good for our pelvis to relieve tension. And coming back to our neutral position and switching sides. So start to 
do big circles or small circles or slow circles, whatever feels good to the left side now. And remembering to breathe. Couple more breaths here. Doesn't that feel so good? Yes, one of my favorite things to do. So coming back to our tabletop position. And let's just wake up the hips a little bit more by lifting up your knees one leg at a time, moving really mindfully here. Keep the core um, moderately engaged and try not to twist the hips too much. I know there's a little bit of twisting happening on me, but you're trying to use your glutes to lift, but we're also waking up and activating our hip flexors. So this is actually a great workout for your butt. <laughs> and slowly make your way back down to a child's pose. And I'm just gonna rest here for a few breaths. One more breath. And as you exhale, slowly make your way up. If you wanna toss in a quick plank here and then make your way to upward dog. You don't have to do the plank if you don't want to. We're gonna go back and forth from upward dog to child's pose. If the upward dog is pinching your back, just keep the knees, or sorry, the arms bent and just do a little baby cobra instead. But if you are doing upward dog, remember to keep the shoulders back and the chest up. Almost like there's a string tied to your sternum and someone's pulling it up towards the sky. So shoulders back, sternum to the sky looking forward and flowing back and forth, breathing. Beautiful, on your next exhale, making our way back to a seated position, bringing your knees into your chest, keeping your back straight, bring both arms behind you, kind of push into the floor to help uh, straighten your back a little more. Bring the ankles and the feet about hip width apart and start to do a windshield wiper movement from side to side. So slowing this down a lot if you're really feeling it in your hips, like let yourself feel the satisfaction of this movement on your body, on your pelvis, on your hips. If, if one spot feels really good just stay there keep the knees down for a couple breaths go at whatever pace feels good here back and forth remembering to breathe and just really honoring your body and how it feels and focusing on your breath finding little areas of tightness and seeing if you can consciously allow your body to relax even just a little bit. What we can do on one day may be completely different from what our body is able to do on a different day. So yoga is all about honoring our body and where we're at on that day and not expecting our body to be able to do the same thing or have the same le level of flexibility on a daily basis. It depends on what we did that day or what kind of activity we had or it, 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 our body depends on so many things. So our yoga practice can look different from day to day. So try to be patient and accepting with yourself. So coming to a cross-legged position, whatever you find most comfortable. And we'll begin a seated cat-cow here. So just moving the spine forward, pushing the chest forward and back. Keeping your hands on the knees. You can move your head around a little bit. Do some circles with your spine. 
So using the chest, almost like you're drawing a circle with the chest. Switch directions. I'm just getting every part of the spine moving around, waking everything up. Cool. Just continuing whatever movement feels good here. Breathing as you move. Okay, now we're going to get into one of my favorite neck stretches, but please move super slow and be really care careful here. So starting with the right arm out to the side, hold your head to the left, and you're going to notice it likely feels really intense right away all throughout your arm, possibly even into your fingers, into your neck. So do not push it. You do not want to hurt your neck, okay? Find... If you feel like you're pushing it too far, release a bit. Bring the head back up a bit, but move really slowly and keep breathing because this can be such a beautiful stretch on the neck when you find that sweet spot. So allow the arm to move up, down, forward, back. Allow your head to tilt back or rotate forward. Movement is very welcome here as long as it's very slow and mindful and if something feels like it's too much, we do not want to force it. We do not want to mess around with our neck. We don't want to have a sore neck. But when the stretch is done properly, it feels like you have a brand new neck. <laughs> so we're going to do this every day for quite a few days so you'll definitely get the hang of it. On an exhale, slowly release. Okay. Really, really super slowly. Give the shoulders a little roll when you come out of it. And pausing in between for a quick shoulder stretch on the same side, the same arm that I just had extended, the right arm. Feel free to pause this video at any time if you feel like you want to continue something a little bit longer, okay? absolutely welcome to. So let's do the other side. Remember, slow and mindful, we always want to be really careful with our neck. So the left arm out to the side and the right and the head drops to the right and allow the head to fall back or roll forward. Play around with the arm, lower it, raise it, find this Allow movement to be a part of this stretch as you find the sweet spot. And you'll know when you hit the sweet spot because it just feels so good, so satisfying. Feels like it's exactly what you need. But maybe today there really is no sweet spot, just the movement paired with the stretch. As long as you're breathing. Being careful, being mindful. And if you feel like this is really intense or you're not really getting it, trust me, you are. It's just, it is really intense. And if it's the first time you're doing this stretch, it might feel kind of new on your body. So after a couple days of it, you're going to find that it feels better and better. Your neck and your shoulders are going to start to feel a lot better. And that's where many of us hold a lot of our stress and a lot of our tension in our bodies, in our neck and our shoulders. So this is a great stretch to have in your wellness toolbox. On an exhale, please slowly release the stretch, slower than you think. Take a couple breaths in a neutral position. Give the shoulders a little roll here. Reach the arms out to the side. Bring the chest forward. Get a nice big stretch and let's cross the left arm over. Give our shoulder a little stretch here. Breathing normally.
Okay, and reach both arms out to the side. Let's wake up the wrists and the fingers, drawing circles forward, backward, lean forward, shoulders and arms, reach back and bring them in for a hug. And just have a moment of feeling gratitude for this short and sweet and satisfying yoga practice today. Thank yourself for showing up. And thank you for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste. Bye for now.